Cornet from iMore.com. We are at CES 2012, and I am talking to Alon Atmon from Pick It Up. How are you, Alon? Great. Now, you are doing this, um, this is like a, a heads-up display for a car, right? You're bringing uh, enhanced reality to an automotive experience. Yeah, we are harnessing the power of augmented reality to improve your driving skills and actually save your life when you're distracted. So what, what, are the, what are the distractions that you see people facing the most in driving these days? Oh, there are three major ones. The first is tailgating, which means that you are not keeping enough distance from the car. Yes. The, the other is um, a kind of forward collision warning, which means that you are closing the car. Yeah. And the third is if you are like dozing off and you are departing from your lane. Yeah, you're sort of swaying. It's lane departure, yeah. lane departure warning that you are giving. Alright, so and how does, you, how does your app deal with those? Oh, we use image recognition to okay. recognize the coin fault in the lane. You know, every time you see an impending danger, we would warn you with audio visual uh, warnings. So right now you have it running on Android, but it's going to be coming for iOS as well soon. Yes, yeah, soon enough. And this is the demo. The iPad here is showing what the road would look like, and the Android phone is actually doing all the recognition. Yeah. All right. So I mean, it, it's it's real time. It's a live view. Um, you have very large controls that are easy to operate on the car. Yeah, we, we try and we try to put you in a situation where we don't have to control it. Yeah. But we give you an automatic warning. And we try to everything that you want to do with your phone, we try to avoid. So let's say that you want to read your latest uh, SMS or emails, we will read them for you okay. to avoid you touching the phone and getting distracted. So you want to do everything you can to help the driver have as, as much focus on the road as possible. Yeah. And uh, you know, there was this uh, NTSB recommendations to ban all. Yes. Uh, cell phone usage, which is uh, very hard for people to keep. I saw the top that people don't like it that much. And we think that we took the, the problem, the number one problem, which is distracted driving, the number one cause of the problem, the cell phone, and we turned it into the number one solution. So you actually, yeah, you, you took away all the negatives of the cell phone, you used the technology for a positive effect. Yeah, the average American drives about two and a half hours a day. Yeah. I use my cell phone while driving, you know, to do my business. Absolutely. You know, if it took two and a half hours away, where will I get those days? So, Even something as uh, simple as streaming music or, or trying to find directions. Yeah, so like every time we are distracted, we are there to protect you. Yeah. And you have big bright warnings, we just saw one go off and said be careful. Yeah, it's the, that's the of course the visual, yeah. and also we have audio. Even yeah. if your stream is turned off, we still give you the, the audio warning. So uh, it's in the Android market? It's in the Android market. Has close to 200,000 downloads, and rising, uh, very well accepted, very well rated, and we release the iOS soon to make it available to all. Uh, it will be in the people. iOS App Store uh, in the near future. Very near future. Perfect. And where is the best place to find out more information about it? On our site, ironroad.com. There's lots of information. We also give some kind of, uh, you know, information about driving habits in different countries. And all Perfect. Kind of things what you do with these? So if you want more information, go to ionroad.com. Um, I want to thank you very much.